Okay, um, pretty much done here with the uh, with the razor plane. I've got it about where I want it, and I've taken a ballpoint pen. And what you want to do is just mark with the ballpoint pen uh, the area that you <laughs> where you where you're going to start sanding. You don't want to go too far, obviously. So. When we sand, we're going to take off the uh, the ballpoint pen marks, but no more. Just right down to where they start fading. Don't use a felt tip pen. Um, there, the ink in the pen will seep into the balsa, and it just makes a mess. So always use a ballpoint pen for this. Now I'm going to use a uh, a 60 grit uh, a sanding block here. It's probably about four by six inches. You want to use a big one so that it at least will span from here to here. Otherwise, you might get kind of a concave surface and you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to just rub it just about like this. That's all you do. Just a little bit. Doing real easy. No rush. No hurry. Don't try to do it fast. Now, the idea is that since, since the spar itself you want to keep, and all you're really trying to do is bring this down so that it conforms to it, just kind of pick up the angle by laying the, the, uh, the sanding pad here against this and just drag it across. I mean, I'm going right across the grain, doesn't matter, this is balsa wood. And as we do this, this uh, R4 is also going to take on a shape that is going to conform to the spar in the same thing down here at, uh, this would be R1. So it's all going to come together and uh, this will take about, this could take easily 20 minutes to do this. We're not going to shoot the video that long obviously, but I just want to give you an idea of, of what happens. And I'm just going to go very easily. The lines are still showing, so that means I haven't gone too far. I don't know whether this is really picking it up, but it's one, it's, it's, uh, it's smoothing out real nice. You don't want to use uh, this is a hundred grit, uh, which we'll use just for a few swipes at the end. You want to use something that'll really take, move the uh, material off. If you don't you're going to be tempted to press too hard and maybe rub too fast and you're going to make some mistakes. Use a 60 grit and just take it nice and easy. Check your lines and uh, this is the general idea. I see right in here the line starting to get <clears throat> A little bit faded. That means I'm getting real close and I need to sort of basically, just like any sculpture, you keep take, removing material until it looks the way you want it and then you better stop because if you keep on <laughs> if you keep on removing material you're gonna get to a place where you don't have what you want. If you make a big mistake uh, just sand a real flat spot here, uh, uh, glue on another piece of balsa wood and just take the whole thing down again. So this is uh, this is this adds some strength to the spar, but it's primarily just to uh, just to fill the gap. So that's how it's done. I'm just going to do this one part here, so you can see how the lines are beginning to fade. By the way, I'm 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 putting almost no pressure on this. I'm letting the grit and the sandpaper do all the work. If you have to put pressure on it, you either have dull sandpaper or you're not using 60 grit or something's not right. So just take my word for it. And just by the way, the other thing you don't want to do, and I've, I've kind of been doing it, you don't want to sand all in one place. 
you really ought to be sanding the whole thing and bringing the whole thing into completion sort of all at once. You really want to sand a little down here, get something going there. Be very careful. I'm not applying hardly any pressure at all. The pressure I'm applying is really no more than the weight of this block of wood. It's okay to go against the grain, of course. But as you can see, I'll stop here in a second, that the line is beginning to fade, and that means I'm getting really, really close. And when I, when I get to this, I'm not quite there yet, but when I do, I'll take this 100 grit, and I'll just go over it like that. And 100 grit's about all the, all the more you need to do. That's enough. This is all going to be covered. And uh, either with solar tax or, or perhaps um, seconite and dope. That's what I use. But, um, so that's the idea with sanding. And when it's done, it's going to look really, really nice.